I'm Patrick Bailey with iQlist. Today is May 9th, 2022. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the LCD unit on your Prusa i3 Mark III. Okay, let's show some URLs, then we'll have a little bit of talk and then we'll get right into it. So here is the LCD unit from Prusa that you can go buy for the i3 Mark III. I'll put a link in the show notes. You know, it's about 57 bucks plus delivery. You know, I'm in the state, so delivery can be a little, well, it adds up. So uh, a little more of an expensive fix for my Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, now, I've also put a link in the show notes to this guy. This is something you get on Amazon that's a replacement part and works. In fact, I have one right now working, and sometimes it's easier to get this quicker. So what happened is I, I, I've had a little bit of history. I think I've broken, what, two screens now. So, and it seems to be electrostatic shock. I did something dumb. I zapped it, and it seems to, the system seems to, system seems to work, but the LCD screen goes all wonky and crazy. So what I have done in the past is I found this one, it's cheaper. Uh, however, uh, you have to, it's upside down. So you actually have to, uh, if, you'll see on the back, well, you almost won't see because I shaved them off, but there's a notch. So there's a notch in these guys. In fact, you can see right here. You can see there's a notch right there. I'm, I'm getting ready to point at my screen like you can see me, but you see XB1, you see that little notch at the bottom and it fits in there. However, this guy, if you order the cheaper one, it's upside down. So you actually have to shave that notch over, notch off, and flip it upside down to get it to work. But then all your controls are backwards. And I swapped one out a long time ago. It worked just fine. In fact, it's what I'm using. So my, my original one lasted a long time. I fried it somehow. Replaced it with this one. That one lasted a long time. I just recently fried it. And then I wanted to get it working real quick. So what I did is I ordered another one of these to throw it in real quickly. And I did, and it's working right now. But I also said, you know, let me just go get a... I'm, I'm assuming, you know, Prusa seems to get more quality stuff. I'm not saying this is better quality than the other one. I couldn't tell you. I'm not that into electronics that deeply. But I got this one, and I'm going to replace it. And, um, and then I'll just keep the extra one around for the next time it fries. I can get it up and running quickly. You know, it's always a good idea to have to supply a supply of replacement parts because things break. This is one of the ones where, hmm, you know, I might... At 16 bucks, I might buy one of these just to hang around, just in case. At 56 bucks, I probably wouldn't buy one to hang around. But eh, if I do this again, what I would probably do is I would I would buy one of these to keep around. And if it breaks, put this one in real quickly, and then order a nicer LCD unit from Prusa. I think you know I want to support Prusa. I think he's doing a great job, and I also think could be wrong that this is probably better quality. But with that, let's go fix it. Okay, so we got the i3 Mark III out here, so we'll start to tear this apart. So first, got to turn it off, let it power down. I'm going to unplug it, and then I'm going to turn it on its side, but just to make life easy, I'm going to put this all over here so it doesn't slide down as I tip it over. I've done that too many times. I'll just let it rest over here. And then I need to, oh, of course, take out my flash card, and then I need to pop that guy off too. Okay. Now, one thing to take note of here is these two. You got one with two lines, you see those little dots? I have one with one line, just to make sure you put them back in the, in the same direction. Now, I am using an old, the, the non-standard board I got on Amazon. So they're actually backwards. So if I pull this out, you can see the notches on the bottom in this case, the notch originally on the top, and I had to shave it down. So, minor shave, they're still fine, I just have to make note to put them back the correct way in the Prusa correct version. So I'll pull these out, but the two goes on top. Okay, then we have two nuts, one down here, and the other one way up here. Now, if you want to be anal, you could take this whole thing off here and be really, oh, I got a loose, Hey, I got some loose stuff back here. I should probably tighten that up. While I'm here. Okay, let me take that out. And this is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench that's used just about everywhere. There's one. Okay. Pr 
try this one out a little bit. There we go. I got two. Okay, then I can just kind of take this off. And it's, there's a, I don't know if it shows up really well in the video, there's a little angle right there that kind of holds tight on that. So I probably need to pop that over a little bit. And there you go. And you can see, probably see better here, that little, little nub that holds on. Okay, now I've got this, so now I can freely go up and down. And there's enough here that I can go up, just pop it off a, a little bit. Well, this one is actually still good. I want to keep it, so don't tweak it too hard. And then kind of pull it through. There we go. Now here, the package came with this, and it came with new cables, which I don't need the cables right now. We'll reuse the old ones. And we'll do this again. Okay, so now I got this. And let's make sure we're doing this correctly. <laughs> so we'll kind of... That's a blue background. And that's our red one. Yep, this one's blue and that one's red. So you can see I just kind of slide this one up, get it above, slide it down. And there we go, simple as that. And then we'll get this, I think... Well, I got the screen protector here, but I think I'll leave that on. I think I can yank that off afterwards. I'm not too worried right now. So, we'll come back here. And now at this point, we got to line this up. So you have to, probably, may have to fiddle with it a little back and forth, because it should. Yeah. As I say this, I haven't done this in a long time. I want to be gentle and not force anything. As you can see, you need to match up there so you have room up there because I just kind of notch over. Oh, and I'm being dumb. I put this in. <laughs> How dumb am I? I put this in backwards. Okay, let's put the flash one on that side. It's always fun to watch someone else do it wrong. I'm sure someone was already screaming, you did it backwards. Okay, flash module on that side, no matter, I was having problems. But easy mistake to over, overcome. Okay, so gentle, don't want to force anything. I don't want to snap a board. Okay, oh now, hey, it goes over a lot, a lot easier now, when you do it right. Okay. So, come up here, and one, two, There we go. So I'm trying not to force it, so I'm trying to go back and forth and be gentle with this. And if you're afraid you're going to break something, you can just take the whole thing apart. So take these apart and do it just from scratch like that. But I think this is not, I'm not really taking any risks. Okay, so now, get these guys back in if I can, I hate covering the camera up. There we go. It's always fun when I get in the way of the camera. There's only so much I can do. Okay, get that in. And we don't need to grill it, just get it snug. And we'll do, did I just lose a bolt? I just dropped my bolt on the ground. Okay, I'll go find my bolt in a minute, <laughs> but I think I'll, we'll hold steady. Okay, so put the other bolt in, unless you are a dummy like me and drop it. Okay, but we have the two here. And you can see the notches that I shaved off is on the top. The notch here is on the top. So, plug her in. There's the one, notch, notch. And that should be as simple as that, he says, hopefully. Once he recovers his lost bolt, we'll plug her back in, flip the switch, and hopefully, we wake up, yay. 
So put everything back in order, put it back in, and we're good to go. And I can eventually, oh, there we go. I can take off the screen protector. Maybe. Ah. There we go. Boom, done. Job is done. I need to go find the bolt I just flipped on the floor though. But I, even so, I think <laughs> I have another bolt. So I'll, I'll put it back in. Uh, but with that, uh, I gotta do my spiel with my reminder, which I have to print out while I'm out here because I forget. Okay, just a reminder that 3D printing is, a, is an engineering adventure that you're on. Uh, you can develop your skills and knowledge and take this in so many ways. You can start a business out of this, you can teach others, and you can make some amazing designs. So design it, engineer it, or in some cases you gotta fix it and repair it. <laughs> the LCD screen is brighter than the last one, so I'm happy about that. But when is an MK4 going to come out? I understand the i3 MK3 is a workhorse, but if they could do an update and just add a new LCD color screen like the Prusa Mini has, that'd be pretty cool. Well, we'll see what happens this year. Prusa has his Prusa XL coming out, and I'm sure he's having fun with supply chain issues just like every business is these days.